Hey, Virgo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for your afternoon spread for August 19th, 2021, sweethearts. Uh, if you want personal readings, crystal sage, incense, you can all find that on my website. I do also have tarot cards, and I'm also going to be putting up new crystals on my website, but they're going to be tumbled, but they're going to be coming in little cute packages there for you, Virgos, for anyone who is definitely interested in stuff like that. Uh, sweeties. All right, Virgos, tarotbarbie.com. Let's get it. Coming in with the Seven of Swords whew, in reverse. <laughs> the Five of Wands and the Six of Swords energy there, Virgos. All right. So, Virgos, this person was definitely in a, th definitely in a three-party situation here, okay? They they were definitely dealing with some stupid shit in the past. They're coming with the Three of Cups energy. They were living their best life. They thought that they were all that. Living, being around whoever it is that they wanted to be around, uh, which really put a lot of stagnation into the connection between the two of you guys. Now this person's ready to come back. They're trying to use their intuition to come back towards you, coming with the Hangman to the Seven of Swords in reverse. So do expect that this person try to try and return back towards you. But the thing is, they're really dishonest with the Two of Swords energy. They're getting the... They're starting to see that they were definitely dishonest and the reason why they were so dishonest was because they created a dishonesty within themselves. So this person's starting to like open up and realize, well, you know what? It's like they're trying to see for themselves now, like, well, I guess I was the problem. Well, yeah, they were the problem, Virgos, because they wasn't willing to change their ways with the death card in reverse. How do you expect to be a player player and then think that you're going to win at life? It's not going to work like that. Six of Wands, Death card, Two of Swords in Reverse. They're starting to realize that they were the ones that were dishonest. They were the ones that were scheming, lying, cheating, and doing the whole thing. Like, they was going out of their way at nighttime, partying, drinking, while you guys are like homebodies and uh, living your life there, Virgos. Coming with the King of Cups. Now this person wants to come back and, and, and be with you here, Virgo. They are carrying a lot of burden, but they're going to drop one to come back for you. But the thing is, they're still protecting themselves for whatever reason. Whatever whatever reason that this person who who wants to act like they're the victim, they want to protect themselves for whatever reason, all right? So now they're filled with burden. They're going to drop one, carry the nine to come back towards you because they still can't let you go. This person was very childish, immature. Maybe this person was also very abusive with you here too in the past. Your Virgo's coming with the Emperor card to the Five of Wands. They're realizing now, like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have put my hands on them, Virgos. I shouldn't have treated them like that. Maybe this person has a high position, entrepreneur. They make a lot of good money. They think that just because they are at that stage in their life that they can mistreat people for that matter here, Virgos. But regardless, though, they, they, they were definitely... Very petty, just really petty here, Virgos. And they were only thinking about themselves with the chariot card there. You guys are going to end up arguing with this person when they try and come back towards you, coming with the chariot card, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you guys are going to be like, no, what do you mean? You, you want to come towards me on some stupid, petty shit, childish shit. You haven't even grown up yet. Like, you can't even be the page of wands upright. Like, this person's coming towards you. Like, okay, you don't miss see you, okay? Page of wands. Okay, cool. You're still childish and Im immature, but you're coming on some sweet shit. But when... When you the page of wands in reverse, oh, God help you. God help you, Virgos, okay? Whoever this person is, whoever this person is going to be reaching out to you guys, you guys want nothing to do with them. It's the Empress here, Virgos, because you guys are standing in your power like, no, what do you mean? You, this is how you want to come back to me after you're the one that did me wrong? So for that, I'm going to I'm gonna speak my truth. I'm going to say what I want to say when I say it, and I don't care. I'm the Empress. You're not going to hurt me like that. You're not going to come towards me on some stupid childish shit, argue with me, and be evil towards me, and think that I'm not going to stand in my power. You gave me, while, while we were in separation, you let me realize what my worth is, and you learned to, and I learned to live without you so now you want to come back towards me and act still so childish and evil and pathetic and now you want and you think i'm gonna sit here and tolerate that shit no you're not virgos because this person did a bad thing here virgos maybe somebody here ended up getting an std from this person here virgos as well someone ended up cheating and may have gone given somebody an std though virgos okay so if that is the case please take care of yourselves and and always use protection always virgos uh lover's card especially when you know what you're playing with the player no, Virgos, fuck that shit. Don't put yourself in, in your life in that position there. Uh, regardless, though, Virgos coming with the lover's card, the four of cups, so the two. You guys are, like, sad about it. Somebody here may also dodge the fucking bullet, to be honest with you, especially with the four of cups energy. It, somebody here may have protected themselves, and they and the, while this person may have had something, straight up. Uh, but you guys, you know, Virgos... I know you guys are very careful, so I know you guys are good at the end of the day. Uh, regardless of Virgos, you guys may not want nothing to do with this person. And this person thinks that 
and this person feels like you need to make a decision on whether or not you guys are going to want this person back. But I mean, I think you guys are going to be able to know what doesn't settle well with well in your heart for you anymore. Six of Swords. Uh, it doesn't look like you're going to be moving forward to this connection here. Virgo's coming with the Six of Swords in reverse. This person's probably going to confess to you, tell you something, or or just whatever the case is here, Virgos. But you guys are going to be focusing on yourselves, all right? You guys already know that this person can't offer you nothing. It's false love. It's not real love, Virgos. It's the like Two of Cups in reverse. And you guys know that. You guys are looking at this Two of Cups like, well, you know what? I, you were my soulmate at one point in my life, but I don't think you're my soulmate anymore. We're just not connecting anymore. We're not seeing eye to eye anymore. It's just straight up. You guys are going to be focusing on yourself, taking care of yourself, focusing on your work, focusing on your money, focusing on your bag. And you're going to be releasing it now here, Virgos, because it doesn't do nothing for you except stress you out, cause you, make you feel trapped. Like, I mean, real trapped here, Virgos, especially if this could have also been an abusive or toxic relationship where... This person instilled a lot of fear into you too because the way that they're so aggressive, you're like, what the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? Paige, who, who does this person think they're talking to? You guys are the empress. Who do they think they're talking to, all right? So, Virgos, they left you very stressed out with the Eight of Swords energy, Queen of Pentacles. That's a you that Virgos. I want you guys to know that every pain, every torment, every abuse, every... PTSD, every anxiety, every fear that you guys have ever endured, it's behind you now. It's behind you now, okay? But you guys are still thinking about it at certain times. But you guys are not looking at your future. You have to focus on your future now, Virgos. It's over and done with. This here, look look me, okay? This all here is gone. Let it go. Get out of that victim mentality. Get out of that mentality where, you know what, you, you... No, it's no more Ayuda, you know what I mean? I, I am going to be moving on with my life. I am going to take responsibility for my life and I am going to carry on with my life without you. I am not a victim of your bullshit and I'm not going to be a victim to myself either and feel sorry for myself. I'm going to pick up my shit and I'm going to keep it moving because you guys have a lot of good stuff coming towards you guys, Virgos. You guys got pr prosperity, good luck. Uh, good health coming towards you too, Virgos. There's nothing to there's nothing to worry about. You need to turn around, Virgos. It's time to turn around because you guys are too much still focused on the eight of swords. You guys are too focused on what this person is doing to you still, or you're having a hard time release releasing what this person has done to you. So for that, Virgos, it's time to do the inner work. I know a lot of people are just don't really understand how to do inner work. Inner work is not easy. It'll take months. It'll take years to do the inner work. That's why you know, Virgos. When you see a strong person, they they didn't just become strong just just like that overnight. No, that person must have gone through some shit day, night. They had to suffer. They know what pain is. You know what I mean? So that's what you guys can do now too. I know you guys go through a lot of shit yourselves. So take the shit that you guys have been through, turn around and say, you know what? I'm not going to allow people who put me down to stop me from being where I need to be. Look at that, Virgo. That's the, it's the wheel card. It's the ace of wands. You guys have good karma coming towards you because you guys are so loving and so nurturing. And you guys don't inflict or project your pain onto other people. You guys would never do something like that. And you guys are ready to move on with your life here, Virgos. It's big here, okay? Coming with the three of wands. You guys might be moving on to a new home or getting ready to move from a new home. Coming out of this toxic energy, releasing the past. Releasing these karmic cycles that you guys have been dealing with. So a lot of you guys have learned the lessons to the karmic cycles. And with especially with the world card there, the cycle is going to be over just now, Virgos. You're not going to be investing your time anymore with toxic people. You're not doing it. And you're going to finally be healing yourself with the Ten of Swords energy in reverse. You're getting out of that betrayal. You're getting out of that victim mentality. You're going to be getting out of that hurt, the, the pain that people have caused you. It's no more, you know what, you did this to me, you did that to me. No more. You're going to stop saying you, you, you. You're going to say, you know what, I'm going to. I am looking to my future. I am going to focus on what's what's next to come. You are my past. That's where you're going to stay. You didn't do nothing for me. You stressed me out. You took a lot out of me. I put everything into towards you, but you took advantage of it. For that, I'm out. You're gone. Uh, four of Wands, the, the, the Four of Wands. The Three of Wands, Four of Wands, the Devil, Seven of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords in Reverse. It's done, Virgos. It's completed. You completed the cycle that you were with with this person. You guys may have been with this person for a very long time here, Virgos. It would have been a very abusive relationship, narcissistic relationship, some bullshit type of relationship, some shit that this person would have tried to promise you love, and they would never be able to give you that. They would be like, you know what? Uh, when are we going to have a baby? They'll be like, when, we'll, when we have $25,000 saved up in the bank. 
the fuck type of shit is that? Yeah, they just see that's like that's a gaslight. You know what I mean? It's like, well, you know, we can have this if we can get that. You know what I mean? A lot of people don't know what gaslighting is here, Virgos. A lot of people just use it just to fucking use it. Uh, no, you'll know. A lot of I know you Virgos know. I know you guys know what the real definition of that shit is, all right? So, Virgo's good for you guys. You guys have a lot of happiness coming towards you because you guys have completed a cycle. It's done and over with, Virgo's. You guys have prosperity, good luck, new abundance coming towards you because you guys are moving on and, and, and sticking up for yourselves now. You guys are going to be getting the strength here, Virgo's. You guys need to make sure you remember that you are worthy, okay? So, stop telling yourself that you're not worthy of having something beautiful coming into your life. Some of you, somebody here needs to get... Oh, somebody here is going to be receiving a letter, Virgos. Maybe a letter is going to be coming to your home or whatever the case is. Coming in from a Sagittarius here, a Leo, heavy here too. Or this person is going to be sending you a message as well. Also, Virgos, uh, whoever here is suffering from finances or whatever the case is, make of yourselves at the exact same time and, and be patient here because maybe somebody's going to be able to come through for you and help you out, support you as well. Uh, but regardless, so this person is going to be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, who's going to be trying to come in back towards you to apologize, to tell you that they're sorry for what they've done. They're definitely spying on you here, Virgos, and they know that they fucked up. This was a divine connection that was meant for you guys here, sweeties. And uh, and you guys are going to say, you know what, I'm manifesting, I'm doing my own thing. You guys are a lot, doing a lot of manifestation here, Virgo, so congratulations on that, especially with August 19 energy. Make sure you guys jump on that. It's the con conjunction is happening with Uranus at the moment. So manifest, Virgos, all right? Uh, Eight of Cups energy there. Queen of Swords. So you guys are going to be standing in your power from now on, sweethearts, all right? With the Queen of Swords to the Eight of Cups energy. You're going to be walking away. You're going to be doing your thing and taking care of yourself here as well. If anyone tries to come to your home to try and communicate with you, I don't think you guys are going to want to let this person inside your house either. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here is a soulmate connection, Virgos. Uh, air on air energy. But I think more so it's two. It could This could be fucking two Virgos who acts like such air signs. Oh, my God. <laughs> because you guys are so good with your communication. That's why, Virgos, you guys are so swift, so blunt, so honest. You guys say what you need to say. At, you don't care. You know what I mean? Even if it does hurt people's feelings, it's like, you know what? You want me to hurt you with the, with a lie or do you want me to hurt you with the truth? And I think a lot of you guys would prefer to be hurt by the truth. Even if it fucking hurts badly, Virgo, sometimes you need to hear the truth so that way you can pop pop that fucking bubble that people have put around you. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, regardless, so sweeties, you have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you guys might be in a relationship and this person's going to be able to take care of you, help you out, treat you good, all right, Virgos? I uh, do expect this person to give you a gift here as well uh, during the full moon energy, Virgos, all right? Virgo energy, Pisces energy here. There's a Virgo here who's very, very sad at the moment. There's a Virgo who's isolating themselves, who's very, very sad because they ended up choosing the karmic. And this karma it confused the shit out of them and they didn't know what to do, Virgos. But now they look like they want to come back towards you and they want to communicate with you and they bring, want to bring justice because they know that you deserve it. They did not treat you well. They, treat, they left you to go be with somebody else while this person already had options. So they thought that this Queen of Wands was all that... Little did they know this Queen of Wands <laughs> had more than one option. So they played this King of Pentacles here like a fool. Um, and they do miss you very, very much. So do expect communication coming in from this person. And, and they know that they were bad on you, Virgos, with the Five of Swords. And because they were manipulating you and being selfish in their own ways and taking advantage of you, that's why they want to come in and balance everything out. They know that they're, they have to bring back balance because the three of swords they know that they hurt you really badly and they look like they want to come back and try and save the relationship here virgos after the guys have been in separation for a long time they are getting advice from their friends from their teammates maybe they person's friends with their work or with their employees or whatever uh they are passionate about you so do expect this person to come in for a gift towards you here virgos be careful that you guys are not messing with somebody who is married as well <clears throat> be careful virgos all right you guys, a lot of Virgo females, you guys do attract married, married men, all right? Uh, so Virgos, this person here, this is a very highly intuitive person coming with the Queen of Cups to the High Priestess. This person is very intuitive, so maybe you guys are picking up on this person's energy, that you maybe you guys are able to feel like this person's ready to come back towards you, and it looks like they are, sweeties. Um, they are getting the divine. Oh, look at that. 
the Hierophant to the High Priestess. This here, Virgo, is a soulmate connection, okay? You guys are both vibing now on a very high frequency as well. So for the ones who are in a twin flame soulmate connection, you guys have been in separation from this person for a very long time. It looks like it's going to be guided back towards you guys as the, uh, here, Virgos. <sighs> this person here is also very intuitive, Virgos, but they try to not be like that. And they would rather have the power and the... And you know what I mean? While you guys are very much well aware of your of your gifts and everything like that here, Virgos, uh, at the end of the day, somebody here, um, Ten of Cups, Virgos, this person is coming in for a relationship here with you. Uh, Four of Pentacles, this person is going to be greedy. They want to be with you. They, they, they just want to be with you. It's straight up Nine of Cups. They are taking their time to come back in to invest in you, but it's like they're going to come and they're going to go. For the fuck for what? Especially if it's an Aquarius. Uh, but there is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who who's motivated to come back towards you. It looks like Virgos, for the ones that I'm talking to into this these two cards specifically, is that this person's going to meet you halfway somewhere. So if this person has a whip or whatever the case is, and you guys are at a distance from, the, from them, they're going to drive, okay? They're going to literally come drive halfway. You're going to meet them halfway. So maybe you guys are like a two hour away from each other. So they're going to drive at one hour. You're going to drive one hour uh, to come back in and try and heal the connection between the two of you guys. But they, this person is severely stressed out. There's somebody here who is having a hard time sleeping. They got really bad insomnia. And this, there's somebody here, Virgos, with a tower card to the nine of swords. It's pretty bad. Uh, someone here is having a lot of lucid dreams, okay? It's it's the dreams that they're having, it seems like reality. So when they wake up, they actually start crying and, and it's really affecting them really badly in the middle of the night. Uh, regardless of this person does have an angel on them to try and guide them and trying to help them out. So maybe there's a guardian angel that comes in and, and tries to hold you down and, and comfort you or whatever the case is, Virgos. But uh, pay attention to your dreams because these dreams are connecting you back to each other uh in the, in the in the 5D is what that's saying here for you guys Virgos uh regardless though you guys should be happy for yourselves that you guys have been able to get out of a very severe toxic cycle that did not serve you in any way shape or form my loves and you guys should be really proud of yourselves too that you guys are finally standing in your power being the empress male you're the emperor you know what i mean if anyone's gonna come towards you on some fuck shit you're gonna be like i i'm the i'm the empress <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh you are know you're not gonna come towards me on some chariot card and on some stupid shit with the page of wands in reverse all right like you can handle a page of wands okay sure you're immature but you know what you're sweet too at the same time but you want to come towards me as a page of wands in reverse you're going to be like, get the fuck out of my face. Get the fuck out of my face. That's exactly how you guys are going to talk. You're not going to let nobody disrespect you anymore. You guys have taken the time to heal yourselves. And, and you guys should be very much so proud of yourself here, Virgos. But there's going to be uh, a situation there. Uh, whoever this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they also need to be careful, Virgos, that an accident doesn't end up happening for them. They have to be careful that they drive. Because one drives very s calm and they take their time and they drive very slowly, while the other one drives very, very fast. So if that is the case, you need to make sure that this person here does not speed drive <laughs> no fucking drag racing all right virgos none of that shit because i know you virgos you guys love fast cars somebody here has got a very fast fucking whip uh at the end of the day though virgos uh do your thing live your life be proud of yourself enjoy what the future is about to bring towards you because you guys have learned the lessons and because you've learned the lessons you can finally move on to your next chapter thanks cuties bye